All right, my 29 gallon tropical community fish tank is completely devastated now. It used to be a beautifully decorated uh, fish tank and now all you can see is clear water and two infected fish. Uh, I have a video of this particular tank uh, in its full form, uh, but this is the, 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 the poor form of the fish tank. So what happened is that uh, I used to have like four glow tetras, two guppies and uh, I brought in a pearl grammy, a beautiful looking uh, pearl grammy. Uh, it used to be really shy initially, uh, like for the first 10 days or first 8 days it used to be really shy and the, from the ninth day onwards it, it, it hung really at the top of the surface. Uh, water surface near near the top of the near the uh, top surface of the water, and uh, on the tenth day, I saw some white spots uh, in the bottom body of the pearl gourami, and it, it 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 behaved really strange. It moved uh, really fast all throughout the tank, and eventually, within like it, it all happened with Nas. Uh, it, it was sad to see him depart, but uh, not only did he departed my tank or this wall uh, I believe there was a lot of infection in my tank and I saw uh, my red turquoise guppy uh, completely going away after a few hours of uh, the departure of Paul Grami and now I'm left with the green glow tetra and blue guppy both are infected so I've kept them in this tank for a few days now let's, let's see what's happening and the rest of the three glow tetras I moved to this 10 gallon tank that I had that I, that I was actually planning to uh, make it a hospital tank uh, I'm actually building my 55 gallon African cichlid tank so I've also I've been cycling this 10 gallon tank uh, just because I expect a lot of migration uh, in the African cichlid tank so if there are or there is a lot of migration I can I can seclude some of the fish uh, in the 10 gallon tank uh, you can I mean I don't plan I don't intend in keeping all the sand and the decoration out here uh, now I believe these three glow tetras looked okay to me but they might be infected too uh, and if they are infected I'm pretty sure this tank is going to get infected also so my, my I, I'm totally devastated this is like like 2.5 months old tropical tank it was going all well I it was completely cycled and all of a sudden this happened it's really sad uh, so what I'm planning to do is that um, I'll, I'll buy one more 5 gallon or maybe a 10 gallon quarantine tank from now onwards uh, a quarantine tank is a must I believe if I if I if I continue to buy fish from the big stores uh, the big stores not the local breeder, breeders but the the huge market uh, pet stores out here uh, but yeah so I'm planning to get a 10 gallon uh, or a 5 gallon quarantine tank one for my trip tropical community small fish tank and another and this one I'll, I'll, I'll remove all the sand and the gravel uh, and, and the decoration and make it a completely a quarantine calm come hospitalization tank for the African cichlid tank that I'm currently working on that's all I'm, I'm, I'm not sure uh, about all the five fishes in the two tanks that I have right now I'm not sure about whether they'll make it I've been adding salt I've been increasing the temperature uh, let's see I hope to survive but I'm doubtful more uh, for the blue guppy and the green glow tetra they don't look good they have uh, white spots in the body uh, the green the green glow tetra has a red blood accumulation I believe on the top of uh, the head like the top part of the head so I'm, 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 I'm very doubtful but I'm trying let's see what happens all right that's all I have update on my times goodbye keep celebrating life